in this video, we're going to look at doing some a bit, a little bit of maths with variables, really. Um, in my program that I wrote in the last video, this line gives score the value of zero. This line gives score the value of ten. Now that's fine at the moment, but if my score is already fifty, and I write that line, it will reset it to be ten because this just quite takes that number and saves it over the top of whatever's in that variable. So, not very useful for me at the moment. What I want to do instead, really, is I want to change the score by 10. So look at what it is already and change it by 10. So the way I do that is score equals score plus 10. That will look at whatever's stored in score and add 10 to it. So if I do that, score equals score plus 2, and I just copy and paste that code twice, more, like so, you found a coin, add 10, you found a coin, add 10, you found a coin, add 10. What should happen is my short score should go up by 10 each time. So I should end up with 30 pounds, or 30 coins. Let's have a little look. score is zero, press enter, there we go, and you can see that 10 is being added to the score every time instead of saved over every time. Plus works like that, minus is exactly the same, you could take 10 away, and um, times is a star that you find by pressing shift and 8 on your keyboard, and divide is a forward slash. Any of those work as mathematical operators, you can add, subtract, divide, or multiply. So have a little play with adding, subtracting, dividing, and multiplying from what you've already got stored in a variable. Make sure you understand how to do that, and when you're ready, we'll move on to the next video.